we got this funny, hilarious post courtesy of Kurok, um, which shows Ian Connor sharing a message from Kanye that he's sending to Elon that he posted on, I think, on his Instagram. Like, odd, 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 odd situation we're in at the moment. So I guess Elon and Kanye are having some sort of behind the scenes beef. I'm not too sure if that's because of Ye saying he was going to come back on Twitter. He hasn't come back here. I don't know what's going on there. They have some sort of always back and forth situation going on between them. But Ian Connor decided to share a text message that I'm guessing Ye told him to put out there on social so that everybody knows what's going on and maybe to send a message out there to Elon. Or like most things with Ye, most likely this was a private conversation that he took public. Ye's superpower is doing that. He loves to take a private discussion you're having with somebody and to force them to do what he wants he'll just blast it out on social media he does this all the time he's, he uses a tactic that kind of works to be fair but i think nowadays people are so used to the you know the tism drenched nature of it that people are a little bit over it and don't really give a fuck it doesn't really have the same punch it used to have but this used to be a thing that you should do all the time because i'm guessing a lot of these people are never in a position where their private dms or private text messages ever get blasted. but i think because they're texting yay some of them probably know deep down this will probably end up online anyway so it's not something that kind of shocks them in that regard so let's see the flipping text in full right this is courtesy of ian connor's social media i want to see the full thing so i don't have to flip in keep going on it so um president yay right so i guess there's a screenshot from yay personally that he's sending out to elon no i think it's, it's a screenshot taken from yay's phone that he sent to um ian connor ian connor for some reason has kanye listed as president yay right that's probably the ultimate form of glazing to be completely honest but hey what can you do um so yeah ian connor saying to him all oh, my word all praise to be allah and he posts a screenshot of what yay said to elon in a text um, Ye said to Elon in a text a while back ago, I guess. I don't know when. When are we going to speak? You owe me nothing. <laughs> I love those two contrasting, conflicting sentences, right? When are we going to speak? You owe me nothing. Okay, cool. Um, you never have to speak to me again. But if we do speak, the nature of relationship has to change. I'm not bipolar. I have signs of autism from my car accident. <laughs> Ye thinking you could get autism from a car accident says everything about him yay thinking autism is caused by head trauma is legitimately one of the most yay things i've ever seen that's definitely in the you know ivermectin cures fucking covid lane of things you know what i mean it's just one of the things where i'm sure there's some loose evidence to say that this thing does happen this way i'm sure some levels of head trauma can cause significant changes to people i understand true but just to say it as fact like that, so matter of fact, so matter of factly is kind of insane to be honest. But hey, what can you do? Um, you can't watch Kim keep my kids from me. And I never understood this line of thinking that Ye has where he thinks it's everyone's responsibility to step in for him in this domestic parental dispute he's having with Kim Kardashian. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but more often than not, I was always taught never to really get involved in people's relationships especially when it involves with ch children it's just not none of your business you'd never know what's happening behind closed doors and the people who appear to be the most perfect and public might be doing the most fuckery behind the scenes we never know right so as much as it can be um tempting to sort of like ragdoll or jump on or pile on kim and defend yay in this regard we really don't know what it must be like to be married or to have children at the time or to be married at the time or to be or to have children with yay as a person especially going through what he's going through the state he's currently in how he's changed over the years it's probably not the easiest i'm sure it's not the easiest for yay either to be having kids with kim but still it's none of our business so the fact that he keeps saying this type of things to randoms or to people or even online you guys all watched out stood by she took my kids i can't say it's like look it's none of our business sort it out in the courts if you need to talk to her directly what can we do about it do you know what i mean what we're, we're nobody's here it continues here though and not say anything publicly and then call yourself my friend so I can bring my audience to your struggling platform. 
I love that's the way that he tries to get people on song on on his you know to kind of have his back by basically insulting them insulting their work and saying hey you need me more than I need you when you when we talk we must be friends right uh, when we talk this relationship has to change but the fucking <laughs> the, the autism caused by head trauma fucking line literally killed me it sent me that was the most yay thing I've ever seen or heard in my entire life that he honestly does think that his autism was caused by a car accident that he had many many years prior to when he had this breakthrough breakdown or whatever he wants to call it it's absolutely crazy that he kind of thinks that way and maybe again i think once you reach or once you once you watch if you ever get to around to watching this new documentary of yay that leaked recently um you'll notice quite quickly that he has a lot of i won't say enablers or yes men because they don't really say yes or anything they just stand by and watch him right he just goes on these rants he says these things that he says he says that these batshit comments and no one really i won't say pulls him up on it but it's not really like a normal way of like hanging out or being friends with somebody it's sort of like he just says what he says and people either don't agree do agree or just sit there silently it's very strange to see in real time but a lot of that maybe has enabled him or you know encouraging to think as if like what you're saying as any sort of reverence or is any sort of way true i don't really know what the deal is but it's a very strange thing so when i look at yeah and i hear him speak as much as i would like to blame him for a lot of the things that he does a lot of it i think has to do with the you know the nature of his relationships with people growing up in the scene the fact that he's always been a ge musical genius a design genius and stuff the, the the levels of his fucking fame you're always going to attract certain people who just want to be there to kind of clout off of you do you know what I mean to suck you dry so it makes sense why he's a little bit of a freak in that way and he doesn't really communicate like a normal person he doesn't seem to have any ability to kind of you know um color I won't say calibrate or read a room or anything i know it's just a strange way he kind of communicates especially when you consider how old he is and how long in the truth he's been into the industry the fact that he acts the way he does i think is more of a um, representation of how destructive and how toxic the industry can be when you're a star because they can enable you and then when you're kind of past their use they can kind of just abandon you and leave you to do your own thing and then basically watch, watch and watch and see as you crash out in 4k but it's safe to say most likely this text from Elon won't this text to Elon, sorry, won't have the necessary effect that he's hoping it would have. Um but yeah, Ye is out here telling Elon he's got shit up, he's struggling, he needs him more than he needs you, and that he's not bipolar. <laughs> he's got autism from a car crash. It's like, uh I don't think that's a better thing, really, to be fair. If that is true, I don't think that actually makes you look any more better than what you think it does. But hey, what do I know? What do